So in addition to making patterns like limestone, breccia, altered breccia, sandstone, we can make patterns like this one here. This is the one I'm making for, for my version of flowstone. Um, so let's take a look at this. This is a pretty simple type of pattern to set up. Same sort of strategy, we have to have uh, a border um, square, we can see here. And then I just made a whole bunch of uh, angled lines. So let's reconstruct this to see how we do it. And just to give you an idea, so I'm using it in my illustration for the flowstone pattern. So you can make something like this if you want, or whatever else you feel. So, okay, I've got a new layer here. And I'm going to make the background border. Uh, I'm going to make this one 50 by 50 because that seems to work with the size I'm working at here, points. So, oops, I already had a different fill turned on. So uh, let's see, we'll call this flowstone con two. And Let's open up the layers. Oops, open the wrong one. Open the layers. So I just have one sub layer right now, and this will be my, what do I call it? The border. And I want it to be opaque in the background, so I'm going to duplicate this, and I'll call this one blocker. Okay, so remember the border. One has to have no fill, no stroke. I'm going to lock that down. And then the blocker one, we're going to just give it a stroke for now so we can see what we're working. And I'm going to lock it. And to make this uh, angled line pattern, we'll use the line tool. And to lock a line in, at an angle. You can hold down shift when you create it. Now I want this to go all the way outside of the border uh, on both sides and I want to travel right from corner to corner. So in this case it might be useful to use the uh, smart guides. Command U will turn on the smart guides. So it shows me I'm at the anchor here. So now if I click and drag and hold down shift it's going to lock it into a 45 degree angle. Now it's, I just want to offset it a little bit so it's crossing the border. So I'm just holding down shift while I move it so it's locked in. And now I just want to repeat this pattern a number of times. So if I select this and go to object, transform, I'll go to move. So I know this is 50 units across, 50 points. So I want to move it five units in horizontal, zero units in vertical. And that looks good. And then I want to copy. So it makes a copy here. And if I want to just use that same action again, I can do the transform again action. The shortcut is Command D on the Mac. So if I just go Command D, 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 Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, almost to the corner there. And I can do the same thing with the first one, but go in the opposite direction. I'll go to Object, Transform, Move. And rather than horizontal five points, I'll go horizontal negative five points. I will copy and then Command D, 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 Command D and Command D. So there's one right on the corner. I think we need that one. Let's see if it works for us. So let's just turn off the stroke on the blocker first. Now everything, including the border, has to be unlocked. I can select everything on this layer. And just like usual, to make a swatch out of this, I just have to bring this into my swatch panel. So that looks like it worked. Let's test it out. I've already got my stratigraphy constructed to a certain extent. So I'll just test it on one of these layers, like the dolomite layer, this one here. So if I select this and I'll apply 
you have to be careful sometimes when you select an object it's the stroke that will come to the forefront I want to click on the fill to make sure it's selected and I'll choose my last thing yep and it seems to be working now it's a bit of a problem here it looks like it is um, transparent right so that must be because I forgot to make the blocker layer white. So now I'm back on the construction layer. Go to the blocker, select that. Yep, I forgot to give it a fill. So I'll give it a fill and no stroke. And now that I've changed it, I can update my pattern. Just arranging things on screen here by selecting everything in that layer and then dragging it back onto the already created pattern but holding down option and it will overwrite it. So now you can see that this layer is opaque so it's blocking this other layer. So that's a simple way to make any kind of repeating linear pattern. You can do this in the horizontal or the vertical uh, or on an angle like this. You just have to keep it consistent to make sure that um, it tiles properly. And by using a square of a certain amount of units and then offsetting that single element from its center, a certain amount of units uh, that can be equally divided into that square that defines the border, then you can make an easily tiling pattern. So you don't have to use that for the for the flowstone, but oops, see I put that. But you can do that if you like.